Hey everybody, in this video I want to do a quick halfway review of Ramit Sethi's Dream Job Course Revamped. So um, my sentiments right off the bat are positive. If you haven't seen my first look video of Ramit, uh, it's new Dream Job uh, program, maybe check that out for maybe more context. But essentially, this is a premium uh, career development program that um, really goes through an entire comprehensive process on improving your life through your career. Um, now I say my, my, my sentiments are positive because there's so many gold nuggets and tips and uh, insights in here that are uh, rather different from really anything out there. I mean, you could go on YouTube and find career tips, but it's not really like this. It's like, okay, put your best foot forward, make sure you wear a suit, stuff like that. But his uh, system has a very uh, kind of higher level approach, an understanding of networking, an understanding of uh, systems and um, tackling the process, understanding the lay of the land, and plenty of success stories. Now, once again, I'm not, you know, affiliated with his program or him as a person. I'm not an affiliate. I wasn't sponsored or anything like that. And I will say some things I uh, didn't like or at least could be better about the scores to give a more transparent review. However, um, I was very excited to do this video since I've gotten uh, much further along in his new revamped version of the course. And um, it was just pretty darn awesome. So I had to kind of talk about it. Um, so I'll, for the sake of transparency, I will say one thing that could be better. Um, to be frank, the program definitely focuses on people who are high performers, people who can, will, and sometimes must deliver at an above average excellent level. Um, unfortunately, like the issue with that is, you know, I know a lot of great people who, myself included, we're not always performing at a, you know, 99 percentile level. And so there's a lot of people who may just be average or, you know, they're doing their thing, but they're not like killing it, killing it. And unfortunately, some of the um, parts of the course kind of imply that you have this, this uh, killer instinct. And um, I think one part would be the job negotiation slash salary section, which, um, you know, focuses on some uh, scripts you can use that depend on you, you know, promising or demonstrating a exceptional level of performance. And that's really hard to achieve. You know, there's good hearted people out there who try their best and maybe it's just their talent or their lack of lack of talent or ability but they just can't reach that level where they're one of the best programmers in the world or or so forth. So that's something that um, I wish he would have addressed a bit more. But I don't think that just because of that, you just kind of discount the course. Uh, because, you know, even if you are average and you're an average performer, I think you could still get some value of the course. Um, now, back to some of my positive sentiments. Um, I think uh, one of the reasons I was kind of uh, jazzed up to uh, make this video was um, I think there's definitely parts to this course that um, really ring true. There's a certain methodology and sure, maybe it's out there for free on some websites, maybe Ramit site or some other career advice coach online has similar stuff. I, I, I don't doubt that. Maybe it's out there. But to me, it had some unique insights that was just uh, very revealing to me. Um, about how people who are better at mastering their career, mastering their life, um, really take things to a higher level. For example, there's a 23 minute video um, about a woman who, uh, by the name of Julie, she started the dream job a decade ago. And I know that because I took the first version of dream job course, or the at least the version before this, and she was featured in this over a decade ago. 
And now you see her back and you see her progression. She's hopped many industries. And now she seems to be living, living a, a great life, a job she just loved, a business she now owns and loves. And also she's tripled her salary over the years. She went from a law school dropout to feeling like a failure to um, all of a sudden making it to um, Wall Street and then a very successful tech company startup and focusing on learning over making money, which has allowed her to let the money come in a later point. So all very inspirational and in the journey, you learn a lot of little tidbits on how to think differently. Um, he, she has some very uh, rare mindsets that most average people don't, but you, even if you are average, can adopt, such as, you know, money is not the only thing you should focus on. Maybe sometimes you sacrifice money for that investment in your growth, in your learning. Um, and so, uh, you know, her stories are inspirational, and some people, you know, just just to be relatable, because I've been there, some people might say, oh, well, this is one of those success stories, but that's like the 1% of the 1% who actually, you know, make it big off this course. And I agree, that's the case with many courses. But um, I think that most people can still benefit from this, despite, you know, maybe not seeing even close to the same results. Um, consider this. Um, yes, there are things that aren't really um, applicable to you. Maybe you can't just triple your salary. But what you can do is take some of these lessons learned from this and, you know, reinvent yourself or invest or make choices in your career that could change the course of your, your life, you know. Maybe I know plenty of uh, Asian Americans who are so focused on getting that engineering degree, that law degree, that uh, medical doctor degree, because they want to please their parents, even if you know it makes them miserable or sad. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not hating doctors or lawyers. I, I mean, there's some I know who really love their job and more power to them. I'm just you know, talking to these people. I mean, I don't know. On the internet, everyone gets offended at something. Um, but, um, you know, I felt like there was a lot of good mindsets and beliefs in here. Now, is it a guarantee you take all this info? Are you just going to blow the world out of the water? Um, not necessarily. You know, I think one of the parts of the course that's a little underemphasized, and you know, once again, I'm trying to be transparent by giving a comprehensive review, um, is the... Um, the emphasis on acquiring the skills to get to that next level. Let's say you want to make that switch um, in roles, that lateral movement across industries. Not as much info on like, okay, that's the move you have to make. Can I get these skills? What if that's just not something I can do? You know, let's say you want to, I don't know, for example, shift to being a uh, radio slash music production person and you worked in law, how is that going to happen if you don't have the skills or you don't have the ability to attain those skills? So it's kind of almost implied that, you know, you figure that out and you get all the skills and you work for it and that's doable or you have to get it done and that's that. But sometimes some people can't necessarily do that. Um, I, I will say one other area that um, was a little lacking was the LinkedIn group. There is a community on there, which is a LinkedIn group for all the members. It has a lot of members. So you could tell this, this course has sold a lot. But at the same time, it's like dead in there. Like people post, you know, and it's like crickets, like maybe one post a week, a month. And so not not a good scene. Um there was one on Facebook that was created by fans, and that one was a bit more active, even though it had a lot less members. So that's an area of improvement. Um, but overall, I think there's a lot of things in here that 
Um, you know, it's not a magic pill. It's not a magic key that will solve all your answers to every question. I mean, I don't think something like that exists. And, you know, some people just come in with just super high standards. I remember when I first came into this course, when I was much younger, I had, you know, I had very high standards. I just figured it had all the answers to every magic question about life in the world. And that's not the case. However, it does answer a lot of questions that... Um, could really be beneficial that are on your mind. Like, am I too old to start or switch careers? Or um, what if I'm just getting started in my career? Or how do you know I know it's time to move on? Um, these are uh, very useful things, and he offers very short tidbit videos to answer those, but also case studies and all sorts of other uh, exercises. So am I recommending you buy this? Once again, I'm not um, going to push this uh, in that sense because it's a very expensive course, um, especially for young students or people who are, you know, on a very shoestring budget. Um, so in that sense, those type of people, I would not push this course on. Um, and I would recommend maybe you really get yourself in a good financial place first. But for those people who are maybe more established, maybe they have a solid career and expendable income on the side, um, that's someone who would, could be very useful for getting this course, especially if they want to hit that next level or grow or what else. Um, so hopefully you found this valuable. Um, thanks for watching and Subscribe.